Ooh, oh, I just got a phone call saying my drift car arrived to my house. Is it pink? Why do you think it's pink? Because it's pink and gray. You think it's pink and gray? Yeah. Why do you think it's pink? Papa said you're gonna get a new car. Yeah, and he told you the color? No. Okay. I think it's pink. That's a really wild guess. Okay, let's go to Konbini right now. What do you want to get? Uh, I like this. I never had this. Let but me see. Big baby pop. Okay, we'll get something for you and then for Coco. Coco, you want this? Alright, let's go. Come on. What else do you want to get? All of these are super cheap. Momo, look, 31 yen, 45 yen. I told you. 84 yen. But what about this one, no? That one, 111 yen. Yeah, it's cheap. Wow, I need a secret for me and Auntie. What do you think? What do you think? I knew it was pink. How'd you know? <laughs> you get it kind of dirty. We're gonna um, swap this for a better hood. Look, it's it's matching my nails. And then it's cracked too. But it's a drift car, so it's okay if it's cracked. But Don't worry about the little details. This, this is my new S15 drift car. It doesn't look new. I don't like this. Remove this and paint that. You want it to look nice? Yeah, okay. just paint the cracks. Okay, you're totally Papa's daughter. Look, what do you think about this pink window? Look at how cool is that? Wait, can I see? Oh, this is cute. The like inside it. is pink too. Did you notice that? Yeah, but that's dirty in the Look at the, look at the, Momo, Momo. Instead of looking at the bad parts, can you like look at the good parts? I know there's not a lot of good parts, but it's a drift car, so it's okay if it's dirty. Drift car get ripped. Look at the dashboard. This is all pink? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Can you close the door? I want to see how it looks like when the window's like that. Okay. Yeah, but I wish this was pink. You wish the windshield was pink too? Everything's even, pink. Even, yes. Koko pink. And look, even the shift knob is pink. I like it. You like it? Look, it's matching your hair tie. Oh. A car. Anyways, this is Mama's drift car. Wait, and that's pink? The brakes are pink too. Is the gas pink? Ooh. It's pink. It's pink inside. Here she is, my pink drift car. Mama, what are you going to name it? Pinky. Pinky? A unique name. I think you should name it because it's your car. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Okay, so name it. I'll think about it. Anyways, what do you guys think about? My new pink S15. <laughs> it is an A, but I got it for such Mama, a good deal. There's a sticker on the back. She did it. And it was so worth going all the way to Fukuoka with Josh to go look at the car. <laughs>
get the soraben. So there's ekiben and there's soraben. <laughs> we rented a car. Is this Honda Fit? It was about 19,000 yen. Comes with uh, stellar tires, the whole package is included. Not bad, $120. No, it's not bad at all. Where's the place? Dude, I wish it was snowing so we could do some freaking drifts. There's no handbrake in here? Trash. Is this a big joke, guys? Is there snow here? It's a prank. Yo, it's fish store, man. Fish store. No go. Springs in the Tohoku region. It's 1900 years old. Uh, it, it, yeah. It's 100 years younger than Jesus Christ. Dang, dude. That's crazy. Zao Onsen <laughs> is known for its high acidity, and it is said that a dip in its water can heal skin conditions and gastrointestinal disorders. Oh, that's what I have. The main attraction in winter is the Juhyo, which means frozen trees, which we're gonna see. I hope we can see it, Jordan. Monsters. The monster trees. This ski resort that we're going to is supposed to be Japan's top 30 best sceneries. Hi, so we're gonna go get our snowboarding gear and go to the top of the mountain. Photo. Hi, she is it. We're at the top. Is this the top? No, Not actually. That's the top. Yeah, that's the top. And look at that sick little temple they have over there the middle of the ski resort. Sick little temple. Yeah, We're going up. We're going up to the very top because we just took one lift and we thought it was the top, but no. This goes even higher. That's nice. That's crazy. These trees the snow builds up like this and then it turns into one big snow tree. They call them the snow monsters. It's so nice this time. Hey! <laughs> he's still going. <laughs> Some say he's still sitting. <laughs> <laughs> we are at Omori Lift today. Yesterday we spent all day trying to get to the top and it had closed at 4 o'clock. It's a little bit tricky, this mountain. It's very big and we kind of got lost. Uh, you really have to read the maps or like know where you're going. Let's go. Hello, everyone.
Hi, Jordan and Nico are going home one day early. They are at Yamagata Airport and we're dropping the boys off. So we are about 15 minutes from Yamagata Airport. I figure Josh and I will stay at this yokang for tonight. It is called Tendo Spot and Brewery. I hope this is the entrance. So this is where we pick our yukata. They have all different types of fabric. Toothbrush. This is big yukata. 170 to 180 centimeters. So your you should wear big. Oh look, they have kids yukata too. Kawaii. Okay, so our dinner time is at 7. A lot of hotels in Japan, they have Rotenburo Tsuki Kyakushitsu or like they usually have like a nice little hot bath right outside your room but this one didn't but instead they have a Rotenburo, an outdoor bath and you can reserve it so that you can go in like either by yourself or with your partner or kids or like whatever you want to do. So I'm gonna try and get that reservation. Oh yes, and it's natural onsen, natural hot spring water. So yeah, I'm excited for that. It's called asaburo and it's quite common to do onsen in the morning time too, not just night time. This is where we take bath. It's a kid, isn't it? This is nice. It's a kid on that. People that come to Japan, I know they want to indulge in like a onsen experience, but people don't know there's rules, right? There's like an unspoken rule. And I know Josh struggled with this because the very first time I kind of forced him to go to onsen with me, I was really tired and I really wanted a good hot bath. And I was like, let's just go together. It was like 11.30 at night. So he went to a local public bathhouse and Long story short, I didn't know what I was doing, so uh, you can show them. So he almost got kicked out. But, okay, basically, you take all your clothes off here. We we'll usually have baskets like this. This is where you take your clothes off. So you have, like, your big towel and your little towel. You don't bring the big towel inside, like Josh did. <laughs> and hold your big towel in the water while you're... <laughs> don't do that. Okay. You bring your little towel in. This is for scrubbing your body and also drying off your body when you get out. Okay. This towel that you scrubbed your body with, you don't want to put that inside the bath. A lot of places don't allow tattoos. Also, at the same time, because there's so many foreigners coming into Japan right now, they're kind of lifting the no tattoo in onsen rule. So, like the place that we're staying at today, actually, there was no signs that said no tattoos. So that's pretty cool. Uh, usually if you do have tattoos and you go into an onsen where they're, they're like strictly no tattoos, they'll ask you to leave because they think you're affiliated, gang related. Gang but, affiliated. Yeah, even if you have like a cute little Hello Kitty tattoo, they're, they're, they might think you're gang related. <laughs> All right, so when we come out, we dry ourselves with the tiny towel that we had. The big towel, you leave in your basket and you use it to dry off with. 
はいそんな感じです Let me know if you want to know more tips about Japanese etiquette or onsen I love onsen personally I will travel to go experience different kinds of onsens I feel like it's my new thing right now Onsen. This is like about an hour drive from Yamagata Airport. I really wanted to come here. It's super famous. It is the location that Spirited Away is based off of. So they say. And at nighttime, it gets really romantic. Yeah. It's the best thing. Sesame? Yep. Manju? Mm -hmm. I can eat like 20 of these. <laughs> Walking through this town is surreal to me because it's been like my lifelong dream to come here. I know you're just here for the ride, but... I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> yeah, I right. Wishing I could you didn't even here. know what Ghibli film was when I asked you, like, what's your favorite Ghibli film? I don't even know what that is. You're still. like, what is that? <laughs> we're trying to get to a waterfall, right? So I'm like, babe, where's the waterfall? This is where, <laughs> where he leads me. <laughs> the waterfall. There's water falling <laughs> from the roof. They do rentals on this kind of stuff, and there's more inside. This is what people used to wear in the Taisho Jidai, uh, Taisho era. You can rent this for 1,000 yen 60 minutes. That's pretty cool. If it wasn't so cold, I would definitely do this. That's cute. So because I didn't do my research, um, all the restaurants that I wanted to go to were closed. The cafe was closed and the soba shop was closed. So we came back to where we parked our car and we're just gonna get a quick bite to eat. But I got this. This is um, Zunda Mochi. It is a mochi that is a little bit sweet. Came with some tea. Uh, I got my coffee. Oh, this will have to do. Itadakimasu. Never had mochi with salsa before. <laughs> Babe, it's not salsa. Itadakimasu. Tell me that is. It's sweet and salty. Really interesting tasting salsa. <laughs> it's good. Zunda mochi is um, popular in the northern part of Japan. And this is um, edamame. This is soybean, the green, oh, really? green soybean, yeah. This is just all edamame. With sugar. Yeah, and salt, mm. that's, that's it. That's crazy. Look at this salt and pepper shaker. It's a kokeshi doll. Oh, I like you. Josh. <laughs> <What is that? laughs> 